Hey guys, Ryan here with Tonic Site Shop. And in this quick video, I'm gonna be walking you through the Greyhound blog pages and how they work and how you can edit them, and all that. The great thing is it's pretty much already set up for you as long as you have blog posts and a WordPress installation with your show it account. Um, you're gonna be able to literally just press publish and it's gonna connect and work all together. So let's take a look at this. Um, we have a, a handful of blog templates here. So blog, this is gonna be your blog archive page where all of your posts show up. Now within show it, obviously it's gonna look a little bit different, but I'll show you when you hit publish what it will actually look like. We have a single post, this is gonna be um, the individual posts. When someone clicks to read a post, this is gonna be the template that it uses. Again. You don't have to do anything to this post um, or to this template when creating blog posts. It's gonna use this design for every single blog post. Here's your category page. So again, if someone clicks on a category to see just posts in that category, they're gonna come to this design here. Then we have our page, which isn't used often, but if you have any pages within your WordPress account, and I'll go over that um, in a little bit as well, then it's going to use this WordPress template here. Um, and then here's a 404 page. So if someone goes to your website and that link doesn't actually exist, it's going to show them this page here, uh, directing them to the home page. So let's jump back over to the blog. We're going to hit publish. Now inside of my demo account here, you'll see under posts, I do have 36 posts and they're all just kind of demo um, posts here, but we do have posts created. So we should be able to see all of this and I've named them. So this is actually um, zero and then one, two, three going down. So we can actually see um, them in order and make sure that it's working correctly. So um, here is our blog page. Let's just do a quick refresh just to make sure we're on the latest version here. You'll see that we have this section up in the very top that's meant for a featured post. So inside of show it, you can see um, that it's kind of got like a category area that's named featured. It's going to pull in the uh, WordPress category that's used. Um, but again, this section's meant for a featured post. Right now, it's not set up for anything, and I'll show you how you can update that. So it's actually just going to pull in the most recent post here. If we scroll down, you'll see all the latest. Here that here's that same exact post as this one here. So this is automatically going to show the most recent post if you don't set a category um, to this section like featured. But we're going to go over that and show it here in a second. We can see all of our posts showing up one or zero, one, if we scroll down, two, three, four, five. Um, and then we can actually hit older posts and it's going to take us to the next um, series of posts. And that's great. So let's go back to page one here and let's jump back over to show it. And I'm going to show you how you can update this post to be whatever you want. Um, so let's go over to show it. Click on the canvas settings here. So just double click the background somewhere and then you'll see canvas. All we have to do is set a category. So let's say we want the post that's uh, categorized as featured to show up here. And we want the latest post categorized as featured because you can have multiple posts that are categorized as featured, but we just want the latest one. So all we have to do over here where it says category slug is type in featured. And then we want to just uh, make sure that we have a category called featured. Okay. So let's publish this. And then let's jump over to our um, WordPress dashboard and under posts, if you click on categories, you're going to see a list of your categories here. Now I already have a featured category. If I didn't, um, all you have to do is type in featured over here and then click on add new category. And it's going to add that category to your WordPress um, categories list. Now, once that category is, um, created, go ahead and click on quick edit and you'll see slug here. And we just want to make sure that this slug is actually what's being used and show it. Um, and it looks like it is. So, um, that's where you'll add that slug. <clears throat> now, next we have to go to all posts and we want to choose a, uh, a post that is going to be categorized as featured. Now I already have one down here. You can see this 
has a category of featured. So if we go back to our blog here and we go to just the blog homepage, you'll see that this post number eight is actually showing up here now, which is great. And then it starts here. Um, so we can show whatever we want here. Now let's say, um, you know, we actually want number seven to be a featured blog post as well. So let's hit quick edit and we can actually select the category of featured and then hit update. And now because within show it, it's ordered by date and descending, it's going to show the most recent post um, here. So let's go ahead and refresh. And you'll see that number seven actually shows and not number eight. Um, so that is how you can kind of set that up dynamically. So as you continue to post, now let's say the next blog post that we create, it's a great blog post and we want to feature it on the homepage. So we would just create that blog post and then categorize it as featured. So let's do that quickly. We can just categorize that as featured. Go back over here. If we refresh, you'll see that now it's back to this one because it's been categorized as featured. If we refresh here, we have um, a handful of posts here, six in total. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Now let's say we actually just wanted this to be a bit shorter um, and cleaner. So we just want to display four here. We don't want to display these two. We want people to have to go to the uh, next page to see those. If we head back over to our dashboard and we can click on settings and then we can click on reading and where it says blog pages show at most, We'll update this to four and then we're going to hit save changes. And if we go back to our blog page and we refresh, you'll see one, two, three, four, and then it's the older post. So you can actually update how many um, display on your homepage at one time. Again, let's do 10. And if we refresh, you'll see all of the other ones pop up here. Great. Now let's look at the next post uh, our blog template here. This is just going to be the single post template. <clears throat> so there's nothing that you have to do here as well. It's already set up for you. So let's go ahead and let's just click on one of these blog posts. You can see that it's using the featured image. You know that it's using the featured image because in show it, it actually shows a different image. So this is using the featured image when you edit a post and you scroll on the down on the right hand side, you'll see featured image and that's the image that it's going to be using. And then we see all of the content show up. We see the title, the date that it was published, the category, the top category, um, and then all of the content and then all the sidebar as well. Show me back over to show it. We have a category page. So again, let's say people want to see, um, just posts that have been categorized as weddings. If we click on that, you're going to see it goes to category forward slash weddings. And this is going to show just posts that have been categorized as weddings. looks like we only have three posts in here. Let's try adding another one so you can see um, how that works. So let's go back over to our posts. And if we, let's say we want to add this one, this post number one, Let's hit quick edit. And then, oh, that one's actually already wedding. Um, let's do this one. Number three, it's only categorized as podcast right now. So let's hit quick edit. And then let's click weddings and then update. So now this is categorized as weddings as well. So let's go back over to the weddings archive. And if we hit refresh, we scroll down, there's that number three. So if we want to fill these in, <clears throat> we'll have to categorize two more as weddings. So let's select these two, go back to the top, bulk actions, edit, apply, click on weddings, and then click update. Go back here, refresh, and we see those two show up as well. Now we don't see any pagination and that's because we've told WordPress that we want to display 10 blog posts before um, uh, having to go to a new page. So keep that in mind because this is going to take effect on your category pages as well. But hey, look, we've got a great looking category page all set up for us and we don't have to do anything within show it. Um, page, this template is going to be used 
<clears throat> if you have any existing pages, um, this isn't used that often because when we create pages, um, it's actually better just to create them inside of show it. You have a lot more design control and you don't have to stick to this template. So the last one here is this WordPress 404. 404. So this is if someone goes to a page that doesn't actually exist on your website, let's just do ABC one, two, three, or, or one, two. Um, and it looks like we don't have an actual page called ABC one, two. So obviously it's going to pull up this page, directing people to the home page. Now, the last thing I want to show you about this, uh, blog is if we go to the actual blog archive page, we can see there's a blog menu. We have blog home. We click on click actions. This one's already set up to go to the page um, that's uh, titled blog. So it's going to go to your blog archive page. But let's say you have some categories here that you want to direct people to these specific categories. So marketing, copywriting, social media, and personal. Let's say you have a marketing category. So what we want to do is link it to that category page. So under click actions with the marketing text box selected, go ahead and click on link and then click URL. And all we're going to do is type in forward slash category forward slash, and then we need to get the category slug. So first let's actually create the marketing category in WordPress. So under posts, categories, <clears throat> we're going to add marketing and we're going to hit enter <clears throat> and you can see marketing was created. Let's go ahead and click quick edit. And then under slug, we're just going to copy the slug here, go back to show it. And after the forward slash category forward slash, we're going to hit paste and it's going to say marketing and then we are going to hit publish now before that actually works we need to go and actually categorize a post with marketing so let's say we want number seven to be categorized as marketing well let's do three let's do five six and seven so i'm going to select those Go back to the top where it says bulk actions, hit edit and apply. And now we see our marketing category. Let's go ahead and click on marketing and hit update. So it's just added that category to all of the blog posts that I've selected. So those three. Now let's go back to our blog. Let's hit refresh. And remember we updated this link and then we hit publish. So now this, if we click on marketing, should lead us to the category marketing page where we see five, six, and seven. So it worked perfectly. Now you can go through the rest of your categories up here. Let's say you don't have a marketing or copywriting or social media category. You can just simply double click in here and add whatever you want. So you can add you know, food, lifestyle, and so forth, and then just make sure that when you um, set up the link, it's gonna be forward slash categories, forward slash food, and you have to create that category and then lifestyle, and then whatever you have as well. So hopefully this has helped you. If you guys have any questions about your Greyhound blog, please feel free to reach out. All right, bye.